Hey guys, that monkey went back here for another video. This welcome back to another episode of my daily sniping series bonus videos. In these bonus videos, it's kind of a little bit different than the sniping series because we talk more about coin making tips more in depth, and I show you ideas you can use to make coins. Rather than in my sniping series, I actually you know I go through I snipe with you guys, and we talk about more different things over there. So what we're going to talk about today is how to snipe players out of sets. Now, I talked about this before, and I've talked about this in many videos, but, you know, if this is your first video, you this is your one for good one. Let's just say that. So, of course, you know, just going into here real fast and then seeing what the cheapest player is, 63K, 67K. Obviously, this is going to cost you, because 10% tax, you're going to, you cannot buy a card that is more than 60k because 6 uh 6750 coins is what the tax is going to be between this card and this card and that means you're not going to make a profit so you know just quickly doing math um if you guys aren't really that great at math 10% of something is just take the first three uh numbers and that's pretty much you know what the price is going to be so for example 67500 6750 is going to be your 10 cent. So, what you want to do when you when it comes to sniping these cards out of these collections is always make sure that the price you're buying the card for is is uh, less than it would be for the tax on the next card up. And also another key tip is I'm um, actually let's go back to the Brandon Williams. Um look at one thing. And okay, see that's 63k, right? Look at the card next to it, the 67,500 coin ones. That's up for 37 minutes. So what you can take away from that is that second one isn't selling, right? You know, it's taken a while. That might be in the second or third time this person put this card up. Now, as you can see, the next one's up for 34 minutes. So that means that we know from that point of view, this card is probably not going to be selling for around 67K. It's going to be selling for a lot less. And I see someone put, uh, just bought for 63K. I wouldn't be surprised if they put it back up with 67K. And reality would make sense because, you know, it would, the uh, tax wise, they'd be losing coins. But the thing is, you have to look at it, is because those two are up at 36 and 33 minutes, they're not selling at that price. So if you buy for 63K, what that means is it's dropping. The price of this card is dropping dramatically and what that entitles is that this card is not going to be worth 63k let's say tomorrow because of the fact that it's not selling at 63k is or 67k my bad it's slowly dropping so that's the one thing you have to look at when it comes to these sets i would never suggest sniping a newer set card because of that very reason that the prices drop all the time so the fact of the matter is 67k is not what this card's worth. It's not really worth 63k because come tomorrow it will probably be worth it will probably be going for 50 or less k. So that's one thing you want to look at. Um next thing here, let's go to Jordan Hicks and see what his cards are looking like. Okay, so he's going for 10k, 11k, 11k, 11k and someone actually just bought that. But anyway, keep Tim or key tip here guys is let's say 14k was this price right it's 14k let's say these uh three cards were going for like i don't know eight nine and 10k a big thing you could actually do and a lot of people do this i know and it's so effective is buying all three of these cards let's say they all go for t uh you know less than 10k and then 14k is here you could buy all three of these cards and put them all up back up for 13,500 coins and they would probably sell at that when you bought all of them for less than 10k. So that's a little key tip to do, you know, kind of maneuver the market in that way by buying cards for very cheap and then putting them back up, but you buy them in bulk. So you actually manipulate the market into your favor by taking all the lower price cards off the market and reselling them for that higher price because someone else has their card up for that higher price too. But in reality, you look like you're putting your card up for cheaper. Now, the only time it doesn't work is if you have someone who is like, oh, hey, let me just undercut you. Then it, it kind of 
fades away. But my suggestion with that is you put the card up for 24 hours because eventually your cards probably will sell. So that's just a little key tip on how to make coins with that method. Um, again, the golds are usually always going to be the cheapest. As you can see, 2,000 coins. And then finally here, let's see how much he's going for. He is going for about 2,000 too. So that's just a, you know... Those cards you're not going to want to look at, of course, for the fact that they're very cheap. But just going through these two player sets over and over again. And as you can see, um, that person who just bought it put it back up, I think, for 67k. Unless, yeah, I think he just put it back up for the same exact price. Which, if, if that is him, we can actually check it real fast, see if that is him. Let's see. Did you just buy this card, my man? No, 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 this is somebody else. You got a better pack opening. But um, somebody who did just buy the card, maybe they did it to complete the set. Who knows? But what I suggest you doing is going through older sets because older sets can be very effective in this way. Because a lot of times, let's say someone pulls this card um, and they might just put it up for 5K because of the fact that they're like, oh, it's not the newest football outsider. So it probably goes for nothing. So they might put them up for 5k and it's not that much of a snipe but you know any kind of snipe is a snipe in my opinion so if you guys can even get a 15k card for 5k walk away with a 9k profit that's pretty worth it so definitely always recommend i always recommend looking for those kind of snipes now these collectibles usually go for a crap ton of coins as you can see um these collectibles are being put up all the time mainly because Sometimes, let's say someone pulled a week six collectible of this card, and they think, oh, you know, week seven's out, week six probably goes for nothing. They'll put up those collectibles all the time for very, very cheap. Some people will just put them up for 950 coins and not think, oh my god, they could be going for something, you know, a good price, just because of the fact that they just want to get rid of it and they don't think it's going for a lot. Because, let's say, you know, it's a couple of days or, you know, two or three weeks later, they might just throw it up. So definitely remember. I think those collectibles stay in packs. Uh, indefinitely. I believe. I could be incorrect on that. But like right here. Um, I'm not going to buy this. Because I don't know how sellable these collectibles are. I have to look more into these collectibles. And see what price they're actually selling for. But that would be a good um, price. Uh, and probably in all honesty. That would be a good price to uh, buy it for. But those collectibles. In that point of view, as you can just see, people put them up for 7k less or 8k less than um, you know the next one's going for. And if let's say someone, if that one was up for like 5k, I would have bought it in a second, put it up for 20k. That's it's so easy to be able to just go through sets and look at cards like that and just buy cards, sell them, and then bam, you turn over a profit, a profit just like that, and it takes seconds. You can do this with legend sets. Um, as you can see, the legend sets now have like five different players, including Tony Dorsett. So Tony Dorsett currently is going for 46k. And a big thing you can do with these sets is just go through, right, and add all what the set, um, what the set actually, um, how much the set cost. So without even looking up how much Tony Dorsett is going for. We know real fast that this goes for 46k. I do have a calculator, so I'm not the math magician. Um, and then this card is going to go for 6,500. Next card we have here is going to go for 4,300. Next card we have is going to go for what is this 2k, 2,100. And then finally, this card goes for. Survey says. 3500 now after that we can you know just multiply whatever this price is by five now of course right now it looks like there's not many up so this is not a good example so let's go down a little bit to another set because of the fact that it's not really that great of an example um ozzy newsome let's see how much he goes for we have 10k for the col um, player collectible and then for the actual collectibles it's going for about 10k each so let's take 10k, let's multiply it by 3, 6, wait, how, how much is this? 10 legend, okay, so by 10, that's 100k. So it's about 110k 
to do this whole entire set. So let's see how much. And I think I was selling some things. Actually, never mind. I will right, see how much Ozzy Newsom goes for. Now, this doesn't work for every single set, but sometimes you can get some really good snipes. I mean, snipes with the collectibles, or you can actually do the sets for cheaper than they actually go for, the players. So let's see how much Ozzy is going for. I'm guessing this might not. Let's see. Okay, so he's going for 165k. I'm gonna double check my head to see how much he's actually selling for, but um, he could honestly. Let me see if I can. I might be able to complete the set and actually do this for cheaper than he's actually selling for, and actually be able to sell him in this video. So I'm gonna check my head. Always make sure you check my head. My head is gonna tell you how much players are actually going for. Just so that you know and you're never losing coins because sometimes people put cards up for crazy prices. It looks like he's selling for 150 And if he is, we are doing this set right now. <laughs> like, this this is the move right now, guys. He's selling for 149 okay? We're doing the set. And this is what's going to happen, guys. This is why you just go through the sets and try your best to be able to do this kind of stuff. Because you really can make a lot of coins doing this. Or you can lose a lot of coins. So just make sure you add it up before you do anything. And when when uh, when in doubt, make sure you have the coin to be able to um, you know, help yourself out. But make sure you have the coin to be able to um, take a loss if you do have to. But let's go back real fast. And yeah, I pretty much can complete the set right now. For 110k and sell him for 150. So this is honestly going to be hilarious. But these legend sets, you have to take advantage of them, guys. You have to go through and take advantage of the fact you can actually do this stuff. And make a lot of coins by completing the set for a lot less than they actually sell for. And I know a lot of people don't even go through these sets and think about that. They go, oh, let me just buy the player. No need to do the set. That's just a waste of time. Well, the sets can actually make you a lot of coins back. Now, the only issue, and as you're seeing this right now, is that it's not always easy to get 10 collectibles. Because you have to have people put these up. And, you know, I mean, if you wait a little bit, you can usually get these. Like, I'm not going to buy it for 13k. I'm not going to, you know, because I want to actually make a profit off this. And if I really want to make a honest, like, the best profit possible... I would wait here for this one to go down. I would bid against this guy. And then I would also wait for people to put him up for cheap. Like right now, 13 k I'm not going to buy 13 k But I think you guys get my point of view. Like you can actually complete these sets for cheaper than it costs to actually, um, you know, cheaper and then sell the player for 20 to 30 k more. Like right here, I already have four collectibles and the player. And that's, you know... All I need is six more collectibles, and I'm going to be able to um, complete these sets. So, hopefully, hmm. Oh, a little key tip here, and just just a, a little key tip. Sorry about that. The Cardinal John Brown is listed in process as questionable for Sunday's game against the Packers. So, that interruption was brought to you by ESPN. Having to interrupt during a video. <laughs> uh, I, my phone has, like, some... Okay. There we go. Should not interrupt again, guys. Sorry about that. But, okay. It, it, it's sometimes difficult waiting for people to put these cards up because, you know, there's always a chance that it takes a little bit longer for that to happen. And then, of course, oh, yeah, back to what I was talking about with this before ESPN interrupted. Um, when it comes to bidding for cards, I'm not going to bid for this card, right, until there's literally 10 seconds left and then you bid. And the reason why is if you bid, if I bid right now, right, and I just went out there and was like, all right, I'm going to bid right now, then the chances of this guy seeing me bid and then bid again before I'm done is a great chance, right? So waiting and then bidding at the last second, it makes it so maybe the person's not online or they're like, hey, should I stay online and wait for this bid to end? And they're like, ah, oh, nah, I'm going to get it anyway. And then you come in at the last second and bid and they don't know about it and then you win the card. So, that's always my suggestion is always come in at the very last second. I, I know it's, the motto is don't be that guy. But you have to be that guy if you want to make some coins. <laughs> Sometimes, being that guy 
makes you a profit. So actually what I'm going to do with fast is while I'm waiting for this card to go down in time, um, how much can I sell this card for? Let's see, I can sell this card for about 162k. So let I me mean, just. Sometimes it's always good to just see how much you spent on everything currently, right, right now, to see how much everything cost you. Um, to see how much profit you have left. To make sure, like for example, you can still make a profit. All right, so I bought four of these. I spent 8K on one. I spent about 10K on three of them. And then I spent 10K on the player. So right now I'm at 97K, 800 coin profit if I were to be able to complete the set right now and, you know, just sell for that. Ah, oh, crap. Someone else did my method. Someone else came in and then someone else came in. Okay. So can I complete this? Can I buy six more collectibles? Let me see. Let me see something real fast. So right now, what 97k? And I don't. I don't think I'm gonna get this collectible because I feel like these guys are gonna. Yeah, these guys are gonna go back and forth. So I just want to see something real fast. Um, what 97k once again? If I do this, I normally wouldn't do this, but the only reason I'm doing this would be for the video, guys. Um, but I want to see if I can actually complete this set. Um, this would be, oh, no, I can't. All right, so I was going to just buy the last six collectibles, but it's honestly not worth it because of the fact that I, I would be losing coins. So you never want to lose coins. It's better just to lose time than lose coins, in my opinion. Time is great, and time is, you know, very precious, but losing coins is even worse than losing time, in my opinion. Now, what we could do is we could let these guys go back and forth, like battle it out like gladiators, and then come in the last second and be that guy and just snipe up the card. Sometimes that is the best thing you can do, just come in the last second, because when you go back and forth with people, sometimes what, you know, oh, I want to buy this card, no, I want to buy this card, no, I want to buy this card, it gets bad. So sometimes coming in the last second, oh, okay. Did we do it? So look at someone's gonna, someone's gonna bid. Just, I I know this is gonna happen because my luck is awful when it comes to bids. I I always get that one guy right. I'm always like whenever I bid on a card, there's always that one guy out of a million people who decides I'm gonna bid on this card too, and we'll go back and forth. And I'm not proud of myself, but I'm not gonna lie. I have bid a card up 20k more than it goes for, just to beat someone else at at getting the card. I'm not going to lie, I have done this. But let's be honest, guys. Who down below, you can comment down below and tell me, who hasn't done that? Well, you bid a card, maybe not 20K, but you bid a card up a little bit more than it goes for just to get the card over somebody else. Well, the reason why I'm waiting here, guys, is because there's always a chance, there's always a chance that um, sometimes, like, it would say it ended, right? But it's not actually ended. It's still technically going. And sometimes there's a chance that that happens. Um, it's a glitch, I think. But it looks like it did not happen this time. So, five. We need five more of these players. Um, I would love it if people could put these up. And, again, if I really want to make the max profit here, I wait for this card to go down. I bid on it into it. Maybe I get up to 8K again. And then, bam, bam, bam. Turkey and ham. Let's see if I can actually buy the players now. 1550. Again, this would just be for the video's sake because I don't want to keep you guys waiting too longer. Too much longer. My bad. Okay, so plus. So I can actually buy these players and still make a profit. I'll make like a 10k profit. But, hmm. Yeah, I'd make an 11k profit if I if I did buy these. But if I waited until they were up to 8k, I waited for that card to go down, I'd actually make a lot better profit. But, because I love you guys and I don't want you guys to have to wait all this time, I'm not going to do that. And I'm going to only take 11k profit, but the reason why, once again, is so you guys don't have to wait and any, wait any longer. Because I know I've been making this video go by very, very long. So... I should be able to get through this 
and make about a 11 to 15k profit. Let's go. Come on, go through these. Come on, come on, get through them. And then we can also look at Luke, not look at Blunt, which apparently I was selling him. We can go through and actually look at the stats of Ozzy Newsome. I'm not sure if I overviewed his stats when he was a legend in the game. But, let's see. Go through it fast. And 11 items. And we got Mr. Ozzy Newsome. So right there. There's his stats, guys. Definitely a nice side end. I would love to have him for my team. But this is Xbox One. And I, you know, Xbox One, I do everything through, um, I do everything through, like, you know, the auction block. And I'm sorry, I do everything through promos. I build a squad based on the promos out. PS4 is going to be where I do, you know, build a squad. So if I get Ozzy Newsome, I will be getting him over there. Because that's where... You know, my, I'll be trying to get the best squad possible. So if you guys are interested in joining the GOAT list, the GOAT list is a awesome uh, group of people that join together on, you know, they, you guys can donate any amount of money you want to me. You're entered into the GOAT list and you're able to um, be entered into giveaways every single month. PS4 and Xbox One now. It used to be only Xbox One, but I did get a PS4 Madden 17 copy. So, I have a, you know, giveaways for Xbox One and PS4. It's over there on the GOAT list. If you guys would like to enter, go down below in the description. And you can enter in. And once again, you get, you know, giveaways every single month for GOAT list members only. Plus, you get some other great rewards over there. If you are new to the channel and you don't know what that is, check it out in the link below in the description. So... I came in with this video with 180 some K. So I should be coming out of this video with, if I can do the math right, 63K, 208K. And look how fast that card sold. So I'll check back, but I'm pretty sure. Did I just make a 30K profit in the video? <laughs> I think I did. So, this is how easy it is, guys. Complete the legend sets. Right now, go to your legend set, see how much it costs for the whole entire thing, then sell the player. I made 30k. If I would have waited, I could have even made 50, 60k off this set. But I, I did it for the video. I did it for you guys. I did it for the vine. I will see you guys in the next one. Hit that like button for the awesome profit I made. Peace out, guys.